Hey, what's happening, guys? Um, it's an early morning here. It's like uh, 5.30 in the morning. And I just got off the radio, making some great contacts overnight. And I thought we'd talk a little bit more about this radio. This is the Yaesu Fox Tango 891. And it is like a hidden gem among HF radios because of the price and the number of features. We talked about this radio before, and I know that some of you guys, probably most of you, aren't radio guys. And if that's the case, you know, feel free to watch something else. But if you are interested, I want to get into this a little bit more. Because if you're not familiar with this radio, you might think it's just a little portable, you know, maybe 20 watts or something, but it's not. It's a 100 watt radio and it is jam-packed with features. It's become the radio I use when I do my digital modes because of some of these features that are really nice. Now, like I said, we talked about it before, so I'm not going to go into the basics too much, but what I want to talk about are all the different menus and features because there are a lot of menus in here. And uh, you can access some of them through these programmable buttons here on the front but mostly you access it through this F button. So if we hit it one time, let's get to the function. Okay, so function one. We have our tuner activate, Vox, which is voice operated, PRC, which is a um, uh, like a mic boost. We have a monitor. I mean, attenuator, narrow band filter, intercept point uh, noise blanker that's menu one then we have menu two which um, this is also a monitor but this is our uh, <laughs> you can't think of what I'm trying to say our graph or bar graph on the screen whether it's showing you signal received or voltage drain on the finals whatever we have a scope automatic gain control digital noise reduction uh, this is a noise filter, dynamic noise filter. Just a ton. We have an entire menu set up for CW. And then we have an entire menu set up for recording. So for recording, you can record both voice and C, uh, CW messages. So let's check and see if this uh, this band is open here. Is the frequency in use? Whiskey, whiskey, eight, Papa Romeo. We'll wait a couple seconds because we might only be able to hear one side of a conversation. I'm gonna ask again. Is this frequency in use? Whiskey, whiskey, eight, Papa Romeo. All right, not hearing anything. So what I can do is go in here and make sure PB playback is activated. And I've recorded my CQ message here in channel one. So this is what's known as a voice cure. And like on a contest day or you're just trying to call CQ and find someone to talk to, it, it really saves your voice because instead of talking on the radio, calling CQ, looking for somebody, all I have to do is press the button. CQ, 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 Whiskey, Whiskey 8, Papa Romeo, WW8PR calling CQ. See? No CQ, hands. CQ, WW8PR, Whiskey, Whiskey 8, Papa Romeo, standing by. And you can just keep doing that until somebody answers. Just, you know, like I said, one of the really neat features. Another one, of course, is the scope which gives us a picture of the band and we can see where there are signals and we can tune into them unfortunately it's only a snapshot so people move you just press it again Tango 
hope of it. Uh, kilo, my two kilo. Ima. Good morning to you. Happy holidays. So you see how cool that is. Now, the real menu you access by holding this down. And there are just a ton of features in here. A ton. I can't tell you how many. They're like over a hundred. I mean, if we look at some of them here, like we have automatic gain control, our fast delay, our middle delay, our slow delay, our LCD contrast. I mean, this is just the basics right through here. Like I said, we have uh, the LCD contrast, uh, dimmer backlight, uh, TX Busy, just boom, 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 tons and tons of stuff. But here's what we want to get into is the digital stuff. Because there is a lot of setup here for the digital stuff. And that's going to start down at menu item 5, 6. So we're on 2, 6. So we just roll on down here. We get to 5, 6. And that's our cat rate. Cat is our um, computer control of the radio. And here it's set for 48 BPS. Next we have our cat timeout set for one second. Our request to send is disabled. Memory group disabled. FM setting disabled. Record setting enabled. Bunch of stuff like that. If we, uh, what happened there? Looks like we almost lost it. We're gonna go down to menu eight. And this is where the settings are for the main uh, digital stuff. And I want to show you this. These are my, my settings. This thing just keeps moving. These are my settings I use for um, the digital modes like FT8, PSK31, those kind of things. So if we start off with the first one, 801, that's our data mode. And you have a choice of PSK or others. I have mine set to others. Next, we have our PSK tone. And that's set for 1 kilohertz. Then we have our other, I don't know why it says disc. They don't really explain it. But that is about like the PSK tone. But this is for the other modes like FT8 and stuff. So this one I have set for 1500 hertz. Then we have our shift, and in my case, it's 1500. Some people say go all the way up to as high as it'll go, I think, which is like uh, 3 kilohertz. But I've found that 1500 gives me a really good. So the other other disp and other shift, you got to play with them up and down until you get a good-looking signals on your waterfall. And then you're good. Now then we have our low-cut frequency and our high cut frequency. And I have both of those shut off. That gives me access to the complete band. We don't want to be cutting anybody off anywhere. Next we come down here to our data in. Where are we sending it the signal from our computer? Uh, your two choices are basically the microphone or the rear panel mini DIN. So we're set for the rear panel mini DIN. Then it's going to want to know where is our PTT? Are we going to use the push to talk on the microphone? Or are we going to use that back panel again? And in this case, it'll be the back panel. And in my case, it will be USB. And that's set for <laughs> T-A-K-Y. Again, I don't know what the, the letters mean. Now, here is our data out level, and this is a really important one. This is your power out for your digital modes. Now, what you have to keep in mind is your digital modes are, think of them like FM. They are on all the time when PTT is down, unlike single sideband, where it goes up and down with the amount of talking. So, we can set it. basically down to one so that would be one watt and I think it probably goes all the way up to a hundred yeah now I generally run at 30 
30 watts it should be plenty sometimes like a couple hours ago I was trying to get a hold of this guy in uh, Albania and I went up to 41 but you want to be really careful at your at your power out level because it's going to heat up your radio and you could accidentally burn up your finals so you go through this and there's like I said there's just a crap ton of items in here and they can be a little hard to get to sometimes but fear not because there is a way and I'm going to show you that Okay, if you remember earlier well like 30 seconds ago I told you that my radio is connected to the computer with a USB cable so we do have computer control of the radio and all we need is some software to do it now this program that I'm running if you're a radio guy you might just be familiar with it it is called ham radio deluxe or HRD what's nice about HRD is it has tons and tons of radios let me find the uh, setup here Eh, never mind. Anyway, you can choose what radio you want. So if we come down here, here is our main frequency display. Right here. And all I have to do to change frequency is put the mouse here and I can roll it up and I can roll it down. So that changes frequency. I mean, there's a big knob on the front of the radio for that, so that one's not a big deal. Now, if we come down here to the next layer down, we have our band switches. So right now we're in 40 meters, lower side band. I can click here on 20, and now we're in 20 meters and I don't know why it didn't switch to upper sideband. It usually does. There we go. So 20 meters and upper sideband. Now to do that on the radio, you have to press a button and roll a knob. So that makes it a little bit simpler. But now over here is where we get to some of the more interesting stuff. Those things that were hidden deep down into the menus. We now have buttons for them. ATU is our antenna tuner, there's our delay, if we were running FM, there's uh, CTCSS. We can turn our monitor on so we can listen to ourselves when we speak, uh, speech processor, attenuator, CW spotting, keyer, noise blanker, um, our auto notch filter, channel up, channel down for memory mode, we can lock the dial or lock the radio narrow band filter, oh, just such stuff, band up, band down, uh, contour for audio, our mocks, we can even turn the radio on and off from here, scan buttons, there's our break in, digital noise reduction, mic equalizer, pre-amplifier, tons and tons of stuff, and it's totally customizable, so if you come down here, in this blue section I just circled these are radio sliders and you can you can adjust them you just come up here to customize and we go to slider appearance slider layout and you can even add more like we can click over here fast delay medium delay noise air we at a noise blanker level apply okay and now we've added noise blinker level my noise blinker isn't on so we don't worry about it but if we take a look over here on this side you can see my audio frequency gain which is volume my RF gain which is a, uh, I'm just really learning how to use it generally I was keeping it set all the way up 
but that gives you full gain not only on signals but the full gain on noise. Sometimes you can pick out weaker signals by turning the RF gain down. Then we have our microphone gain, our contour filter, we have the DNR, the digital noise reduction which is just incredible in this radio. Here I'll give you a demonstration. Let me see if I can find a, a frequency that's in use here. Alright, one second while I find a frequency in use. Okay. We're out of the amateur band here. We're listening to general coverage on uh, shortwave. I think this is probably Japan. Now, this is not a bad signal, but I have the digital noise reduction turned off. Now, if I turn it on, do you hear how all the background hum is gone? And then we can come back down here to this particular slider and I can adjust my digital noise reduction take it up to about four see that, that's just incredible here we go I'll turn it off again no noise reduction noise reduction I mean, that's one of the, the, the gems about this radio. I mean, I think it's just awesome. Now, if you guys have been following me, you know I also have an IC7300. I think this radio has better noise reduction. Okay. Anyway, back to our sliders. We also have our max RF power. We can control our power out. We have our speech processor. We have our audio pass filter. And then we have that noise blanker level. All those features that you had to hit six buttons to access and roll some knobs on the radio are accessible here from this screen. And it just works out great. Really, I found that the only big differences between this and the IC7300 are the touchscreen and the live scope. Now, yeah, the IC7300 probably has a few more features in it, but they're not something I use all the time, so they're not something I miss. They're just not general use stuff. Now, the IC7300, which is probably the most popular radio being sold right now, if you look around, you can get it for just about $1,000, but general going rate's like $1,200. This little guy right here, the general going rate is about six fifty, and if you look around, you can generally get it for like five ninety nine. That is a hell of a deal for this radio. It's just awesome. It has a detachable faceplate. You can take off and mount the faceplate on the dashboard of your car if you want to go mobile. Yeah, wonderful, wonderful radio. And that's about all I'm going to say about it today. I think I've wasted enough of your time. For those of you who are interested, yesterday brought my mother home from the hospital. And uh, she seems to be doing good. I'm going to go up there before I go to work today and fix her breakfast and give her her insulin. And we'll see how she made out on her first night at home. I want to thank you guys for watching. Big thanks to my remaining patrons for supporting the channel. Merry Christmas to you guys, happy holidays, and most important of all, peace. I'm out.